we're asked to factor the given trinomial squared completely. We notice, however, that we have a GCF that can be pulled out from the expression. 2 is the greatest common factor, since 2 is the largest number that can be pulled out in a given expression. So we'll write a 2 on the outside and inside parentheses. We will then have x squared minus 4x plus 3. Since we were able to factor out that 2, distributing back in, you would get the given expression. Okay, so now we only need to look at the factors of positive 3, such that when added, equal negative 4. Now, because this right here, this 3, is a positive value, and our 4 here happens to be negative, we can say that both factors of 3 must be negative. And in this case, we would have negative 1 and a negative 3. And the reason for that is because when we have a negative times a negative and we end up with a positive, that is the case that we're looking at, since this right here is a negative 4. So the only such factors are negative 1 and times negative 3, which give us positive 3. And when we add these two, we get negative 4. Therefore, we must take into account this 2 that we initially had factored out as the GCF, and our factors become 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. And we have factored the given polynomial expression completely. First, by factoring out the GCF, and then secondly, by factoring the given trinomial squared.